he do if he suddenly became ovenless, completely ovenless? No fancy convection ovens, no gas or coal-powered ovens either. How would you cook? Would you use a campfire, campfire, one that is fueled with wood? Wood fires are great for the weekend camp out, but not for everyday use. First of all, they are smoky, and secondly, the fires can be dangerous. Moreover, they, they require a resource that is not quickly replenished. The sun, however, is entirely renewable and can be utilized for cooking by way of a solar oven. Incidentally enough, solar ovens can be made at home using readily available materials. Today, I will demonstrate just how easy and inexpensive it is to make a solar oven. The first step in making a solar oven is to gather the materials. You will first need a box, aluminum foil, a box cutter, scissors, glue, tape, a pen, and a jar or a pot. Next, you will need to cut out the four necessary parts to your, for your solar oven. You will need these two side panels, which will be your back reflective panel, as well as this flap with the attached bottom. After you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. You have two back panels with your bottom and respective flap. At this point, you are ready to make your beads. You will do this by positioning your two back panels in the shape of a V at an angle of approximately 60 to 90, to 90 degrees with opening up facing your front flap. After you've done this, you will take your pen and draw a line at the base of both of your panels. Once you've done this, you are ready to create your, your insertion tabs and holes. Take one of your back panels and align it with the lines, one of the lines that you've just drawn. And take it using your pen, create two tick marks an inch apart on your back panel and two tick marks on your correspond, corresponding to, those, to your two previous tick marks on your bottom panel. Repeat this process a few inches away from your original tick marks. After that, you can take your box cutter to cut out your tack. Make sure that you cut on the outside of your tick mark. So then make these tabs. After that, you can make your insertion hole using your box cutter once again to cut in between your tick marks, just as I have done here previously. Repeat this process on your other back panel. Once you have done this, you will need to cover your cardboard in aluminum foil. You will need to cover the front part of your flap and bottom, just as I have done right here. You also need to cover one side of each of your back panels. Here is an example of something I've done previously. To cover one of your pieces of cardboard, you need to lay out a piece of aluminum foil that is just a little bit longer than the piece that you plan to cover. Take your glue stick and smear some glue onto your piece of cardboard. And then as carefully as possible, place your piece of aluminum foil on the glued surface, taking care to, to smooth out as many, many wrinkles as possible. With any leftover aluminum foil, wrap it around the edge and tape it to the back. Once you have, co have covered all of your pieces of cardboard and aluminum foil, you are ready to attach everything. Take your two back panels and insert them into the holes that you have made previously. Once you've done that, take a piece of tape and tape together your two back panels so that there is no gap in between them. After that, tilt up your front flat panel at an angle of about 30 degrees using a roll of tape or a rug or something of the like. You can also use a piece of cardboard like this and tape it to the back so it will stay by itself. Once you've done that, you have your finished solar oven. As you can see, constructing a solar oven is simple, and using one can be just as easy. You just need to remember two points. 
First of all, you need to remember to paint your paint your pot or your jar black in order to increase um, the heat absorption. Secondly, you need to remember that your solar oven can only get up to about 150 degrees Celsius, so that which can make your your cooking time um, much longer than what it normally is. And then, I wish you luck on your solar oven adventures. And just think, if the world ever becomes ovenless, you'll already be prepared. <laughs>